Hey, it's Keith Hodges, functional fitness coach back here with D-Herbs. And today we're gonna to talk to you about one of the best ways to improve your health. Are you ready? Here it is. Learning how to read nutritional labels. Every packaged food product in the United States has a nutritional label. Knowing how to read this information on these labels could save your life. And ignoring the information could be detrimental to your health by increasing your risk of diabetes, heart disease, or cancer. Nutritional labels are not that scary. And we're going to teach you how to decipher that information to help you become a healthier person. First up is serving size. This information is always found at the top of the nutritional label. Now be mindful that the serving size is the amount of servings per package. For instance, a bag of chips may have a serving size of 14 chips, but there are four servings in the package. Eating the entire package then increases your intake of every other item on that label. Next is nutritional facts. Everything within the black lines from calories, sugars, proteins, sodiums, and fats represent one serving. That is the most important thing to understand. If one serving has 200 calories, but there are two and a half servings listed, eating the entire package means that you have consumed 500 calories. It's a clever marketing trick because people commonly overlook that the ingredients listed represent one serving. Now we're at the fats. A product that is 99% fat-free should theoretically contain 1% fat. This is most often represented by the weight of the product. Condiments, dressings, soups, and canned foods all can be diluted with water, which only increases the weight but not the fat. This allows companies to sell a product that is 90% fat by diluting it, seasoning it, and marketing it as 98% fat-free. On nutritional labels, you have to look out for this and avoid trans fats and saturated fats, both of which contribute to heart disease. Next up, we have cholesterol and sodium. Your goal should be to limit your consumption of both of these ingredients. Excessively consuming both of these can lead to high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Now again, pay attention to the serving size and the amount of servings per container. Because you may be consuming 500 milligrams of sodium when you think you're only consuming 150 milligrams. Now for the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the breads, the grains, the fibers, and the sugars found in foods. Dietary fiber is necessary for a healthy digestive system and can keep you satisfied between meals. Foods like breads, pastas, or chips are low in fiber and high in carbohydrates. They're known as simple carbs. You want to focus on complex carbs from foods like broccoli, pears, carrots, sweet potatoes, whole oats, and apples. And lastly, the percentages. On the right side of the nutritional label, you would notice different percentage values that correlates to fats, sodiums, sugars, and proteins. Now keep in mind that if there are two and a half servings in a certain food, and one serving satisfies 20% of your daily sodium intake, you could be at 50% just by eating one snack. Now you know how to read a nutritional label. There's no need to be afraid and there's no reason to think that something is healthy when you can clearly read that it isn't. And don't forget, read the actual ingredients. Remember that the ingredients are listed in order of the amount. If high fructose corn syrup is first on the list, you can bank on that product being high in calories with minimal nutritional value. Additionally, the longer the ingredient list, the worse the food is for you. I hope this has helped you, and until next time, I'm Keith Hodges, and remember, make your last set your best set.